Well, we've had several mandatory races here at the second day of the NHC, and what's interesting is to see people that make a, a big jump up the ladder, and it always takes that one big horse to get you going. And uh, right now I'm standing here with Robert Gregory, and Robert, uh, you took a pretty big jump up there today, and what was the horse or the race that got you up uh, right now? I'm currently in third. Well, thank you. I've, I've hit two of the three mandatories. Uh, one was a, a 2360 horse, and then the, the second one was a favorite, uh, Marty Wolfson horse. The, the big one was uh, Gulfstream race uh, three. I hit the 80 to one long shot, and that's pretty much what did it for me. You know, it's surprising to me when that race was running, 80 to one shot, there was quite a bit of cheering going on. So a lot of people may be just thinking that that's the strategy. You have to go for a bomb on the second day. Well, you know, the leader of the first day was so far ahead of us. We, we pretty much had to do some catching up and, and I really liked the horse and I was surprised it went off at 80 to one. So I, I wish I'd put some personal money on it, but uh, it was a horse I liked and uh, it just came together. Well, good luck. Keep it up and uh, hopefully you'll continue to close on the leader there. And as you can see, a lot of activity going on here right now as it's a little quiet before the next mandatory race, but uh, certainly still the electives to play and having lost those three racetracks. And another of the contestants who uh, took a big jump up here today was uh, Miles Richards. And Miles, we've just been talking about how a lot of people taking big jumps today, going after big prices. And uh, which was the one that got you up the ladder here uh, currently around number 18? It was the 80 to one shot at early at Gulfstream. Now it's surprising to me, I've heard several people say today the 80 to one shot's the one that got them there. How did this horse go off 80 to one if so many smart people here knew about it? Well, a lot of people are looking to make a big move. I just like the workouts and, and the turf angle. So that's, that's, that was my strategy. I can't give too many pointers out here right now. Oh yeah, we don't want to give away strategy by see us studying hard there and a lot of people with different angles up here. You I get to sit up at the bar and have a good good look here at uh, what's going on on the racetrack. That's right. Unfortunately, it's not a cocktail bar and I'm about ready for one right now. <laughs> well, best of luck and uh, hopefully you can keep climbing up that ladder. Thank so you. a few more mandatory races still left to go kind of on a little bit of a break right now from those, but still plenty of elective races for all these contestants to choose from. See who can uh, try to make up ground on that current leader.